This is day 166 and today we are looking at the subtotal functionality in data grouping. So if you go to data and outline and here you can see there is the subtotal functionality here. So we are going to look at how we can use this to add subtotals quickly to your Excel spreadsheet. So what, what are the subtotals? So for example here I have a subtotal which is basically an average here and you can see here uh, if I select true it only shows it groups my data and only shows the average for class a class b class c and if i select one it only shows the grand total average and if i select three here it shows everything including the averages here so how can i add that okay so with my data without the averages so here's what i want to do if i was i were to do manually i would use this column here i want to say at the end of class A, I add an average for class A. So I would insert a row and say class A average and I calculate the average in here. Then I would do the same, insert a row here and add an average for class B. And insert a column here or uh, because it's the end, I can just insert the average for class C at the bottom here. Then I would need to make sure that I only select my candidates here and add a grand total average so as you can see it took me a bit of a while to explain how to do that which means that in practice to do it if you imagine if you have 10 classes you want to put averages for and making sure that the grand total average it's taking only the candidates and not including your totals in averaging it's quite a horrendous exercise so you want something that is quick and that is precise so to be able to do that, you can make use of the subtotal functionality. So if you come here under data, outline, then you select subtotal. Then it will automatically sense that uh, this is your data and it will sense the columns already. So here it's asking at each change in. So what are the subtotals for? It's for class because I want to add a subtotal for class. So at the end of Class A, I want to insert a subtotal. At the end of class B, another subtotal. Class C, another subtotal. So that's class. If I wanted at the end of each candidate, I would then uh, say at the end of each candidate name. So suppose I have different candidates. So each candidate and then I have maybe subjects going down here to say subject one, subject two, subject three. Then at the end of the candidate uh, name, I would want to then insert a subtotal for the candidate as the average. Then it asks you what is the function you want to use so do you want to do a count do you want to do an average i want an average then it's asking you which columns do you want to add subtotals do i only want to add subtotals in column one column jan feb or i want to add in all the columns so i want to add in all the columns so i'll just tick all the columns one thing though i would think excel should do better is just give us uh a button to just select all all the columns and untick the ones you don't want for example i had to tick 12 times here so it's quite uh, an onerous exercise but uh, at least you have something to work with then at the bottom here you can say replace current subtotals if you had subtotals already you can replace them then it asks you if you want to also insert a page break in between uh, groups so if i wanted to say class a will go on its page class b on its page and class c on its its own page i can then insert page breaks in between the groupings then it asks you to say do you want the summary below data so the grand total or the grand average which is the average for all the candidates do you also want it if i don't want it i can just untick it but if i uh, want to include it i can just uh, leave it ticked so then you say okay so immediately you can see i have my averages here and my grand total average here and to remove the subtotals i can just go to outline and subtotal and say remove all then that's how i can remove my subtotals if you have enjoyed this video please don't forget to like it and also hit the subscribe button so that you can be notified when i upload new videos thank you bye bye